Hello and welcome again to the video series of the Fiscal Modeler in the Stat Pro Connect edition. I am Dhiman Banerjee with Bentley Systems. In this video, we will see how we can create load groups and add load items inside the load groups and also assign the loads to the entities like nodes, members, and surfaces. And then we will step inside the analytical modeling environment, run the analysis of the model, and show some basic results. In our last video, we have created the geometry of this physical model. And going forward for this video, we are going to use the same model for creating and assigning loads to this model. Let's get started. If we go to the view ribbon menu, by default, you will find that our load group has already been created by the program. This always shows the active load group. The active load group is always available in the status bar as well to guide at any point of time, even if you are not in the view menu, that what is the active load group that you are trying to work on. Also, if you go to the load spreadsheet, to the load group spreadsheet, you will find that by default this load group has been created by the program you can continue to add load group uh, load items inside this particular load group or you can create your load groups by clicking on the create load groups from the model ribbon controls now let us try to create some load items inside load group one so for this I'm going to select all the surfaces except the top surface or the floors and go to the surface tools and assign a pressure load to the load group 1 minus 0 0.1 in the local Z and press on OK. So once the load is being applied, this is how it looks. You can always rotate the model by pressing on to the right mouse click and going for scrolling the mouse wheel. Now once we are done with this, I thought I need to give a different direction to this loading, preferably in the global Y direction. Again, to the power of the spreadsheet, I selected only one and then I clicked on global Y and asked for fill all the columns with the current cell value. So all has been changed without going to each one of those rows separately. Now, we can always go to view and get rid of these value sets from this show values, or if you don't want to see the display load stuff, you can, un you can click on that toggle button and that will not show you the load anymore. Now go to model, create a load group. Say that we create a wind from X direction. Maybe we use the same as description. Select the type as wind, then press on OK. The moment we have created the wind load, it now becomes the active load group in the status bar and also you can go to view and see that win plus x is the active load group at this point. So you can start adding your load directly with this active load group. So now we plan to add some nodal load which would act like wind load at the structural points. Go to nodes, go for nodal load. And you can always select in which load group that you want to add. By default, it will show you the active load. And over here, we want to add a value of maybe 10 kilonewtons. And you see the loads are being applied at the nodes. If you go to view and select on the show values, you can see the loads over here. So once you are done, once you are done adding the load groups so now we have 
two load groups load group one and load group two you can even assign a self weight multiplier also you can create some commands over here that this is my win load data or the group you can change different colors as per your wish and you can customize this as per your requirements so once you're back you understand these are even if you click on that it will give you the last saved data that you tried to write on over here now that we are done with assigning the loads and the load groups we can select all go to view and see the analysis model and this is the an article model that gets generated and this particular model we're going to send into the article modeling environment so let's go to model go to return to an article modeling before that we save the model so in the process it takes in validating the model creating the nodes an article nodes the an article members and the surfaces and the progress specifies the completion point so once it's done you can press on ok and this is the an article modeling environment you can go st straight to loading the load group 1 and load group 2 that we have created in the physical modeling environment now we can create load cases in the an article modeling environment and in the load case one we go for referring the load group one that we created and let us create another load case of a type wind and then assign the reference load of wind that we created in the physical modeler and once we are done with that let us design and analyze the model first analysis commands find commands print all and close now run the analysis save the model so once we are done with the analysis we might want to go to the post processing for the results select for both of the load cases that we want to see the results now we might want to see only the plate results from here and we see the max one miss for the load case two for load case one there you go we can see the results for each of the load cases we can also see the 3d rendering from here so once we are done viewing the results we may want to go back again to the physical modeling and continue with more modeling and extending the structure for more details so this is all about loading in the physical modeler this video ends this short series on the basic capabilities of bentley's stat pro physical modeler at this point you should have a good understanding of the simplicity of the physical modeler and how quickly and accurately you can build your structure ready for full analysis using the full capabilities of StatPro. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.